just pull them out of fumigation. Yeah. I'll talk us through it. Hmm? Well, I examined the wings first for mites that may be adhered to them because the bat flies in the fur are stoned from the chloroform and they won't be leaving. Occasionally find spinternicid wing mites, often find macronicids crawling about on the wings. And once I do that I start from the hind and blow forward into the fur to uncover bad flies that are lurking in there. Sometimes fleas haven't found any on this species. It appears you're blowing the bat. Yes, well, they enjoy it more when they're alive. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's effective. To separate the hairs and see Correct. skin dwelling arthropods. Okay. Here's one for example. And you can see if I blow in here. They're not always that evident, but sometimes, and then I can just pick them out. And even in death, they often adhere to the fur, to the hairs. I presume by their tarsal claws. There's another. Because when you pull them, it seems to be the tarsal cloths hanging onto the hairs. And you're putting them into 95% alcohol? Correct. Well, thank you very much, Carl. It's been well, a pleasure. Well, it's been my pleasure, Dr. Patterson. <laughs>